Okay, in this problem, we're asked to sketch our region R and then calculate the double integral of x over our region R. And then our region R is defined where theta is between 0 and pi over 4, and R is between 1 and 2. Okay, so first we want to sketch our region R, so we can go ahead and So first, our region is bounded from theta equals 0 to pi over 4. Pi over 4 is the line y equals x, or halfway uh, between 0 and pi over 2. And Obviously, theta equals 0 is the positive x-axis. So we're between these two, for bounded by theta, so we're in this whole region. Now we're looking at our bounds for r, and that's between 1 and 2. So we can look at um, when r is equal to 2. That means that we're a distance of 2 away from the origin at all points. So that defines a circle around the origin of radius 2. So we're bounded above by this circle. And again, we're in this our theta tells us that we're between 0 and pi over 4, so we're really only interested right now in everything less than 2 within this little wedge. And now we're looking at when r is equal to 1 is the other boundary, and so we can go ahead and draw a quarter of the circle of radius 1. Again, um, you could draw the whole circle, but I just am looking at the first quadrant. And um, we're looking at radius values where we're between 1 and 2. So we're looking at only values in between these two circles. And so it's kind of like a part of a donut. And then um, we're looking at our theta between 0 and pi over 4. So we want values greater than that, less than that, less than that, more than that. So that's this region here. So that's our region R, since that counts for all of our boundary or all of our conditions um, on our region. Okay, so now we want to evaluate our integral, uh, our double integral of x over our region R. So first we'll convert into we'll use polar coordinates. So we know that x is equal to R cosine theta, and dA in Cartesian coordinates is dx dy, but in polar coordinates it's r dr d theta. Okay, so we have our information to evaluate the integral, except for our limits. So we can plug in our x in terms of polar coordinates is r cosine theta. Our dA is r dr d theta. So multiply r cosine theta by r. We get r squared cosine theta. And then dr 
d theta. Now our limits of integration on r, we can look at our picture. So we're going to be varying r from the circle r equals 1 to r equals 2. And that's at all points along our region r. So we can just set our limits to be from 1 to 2. And then our theta at all point, at all radiuses is going to be ranging from 0 to pi over 4. So we can set our limits for theta to be from 0 to pi over 4. So we have our iterated integral set up now. We can go ahead and evaluate this. We know, so we're going to be integrating with respect to r first. So we'll hold cosine theta constant. The integral of r squared is r cubed over 3. So we get r cubed over the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of r cubed over 3 cosine theta evaluated from 1 to 2 d theta. So we can evaluate when r is equal to 2 minus when r is equal to 1. So we get two cubed is 8, 8 over 3 cosine theta minus 1 cubed is 1 over 3 cosine theta d theta. So we can simplify the inside of this integral. 8 minus 1 is 7. So we have 7 thirds. cosine theta, d theta, evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. Okay, so we know that the integral of cosine theta is sine theta, so we get 7 thirds sine theta evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. Sine of pi over 4 is square root 2 over 2. So we get 7 thirds times square root 2 over 2 minus sine of 0, which is 0, so we get minus 0. So we can simplify this and we get 7 square root 2 over 6. And that's our result.